Unit 13. News Digest. Outrage at gutter oil not guilty verdict. March 22nd. Consumers were left indignant when food company Dingxin's former chairman Wei Ying Chun and other managers were found not guilty of breaking food safety laws. The Zhanghua District Court ruled that there was insufficient evidence to prove the oil Tingxin sold had been tainted. This was a huge disappointment for the general public, who wished to see Tingxin punished for its involvement in the 2013-2014 cooking oil scandal. The scandal made headlines for months. Several companies were found to have sold oil tainted with recycled oil. Animal-grade oil and other contaminants. Ting Xin was investigated, and Wei stepped down as chairman. Products were pulled from the shelves as consumers boycotted items sold by Ting Xin and its subsidiary companies. Yet, despite the seemingly certain guilt of the defendants, the court ruled in their favor. Although other people involved with the scandal have been fined or jailed. The public wanted Wei to admit responsibility too. There was widespread disbelief at the decision, along with condemnation of the presiding judge and Taiwan's judicial system in general. Blame was cast in various directions, while consumer groups, schools, and universities said they planned to continue the boycott against Ting Xin. Various experts have given their opinions on the case. Some blame the prosecutors. Saying they hadn't compiled enough evidence to support the charges they were bringing, others called for a reform of the food safety laws, which only tested certain aspects of the finished products, not the raw materials. It remains to be seen whether lawmakers will learn from the experience and create both better standards and stricter punishments for those who put profits ahead of consumers' health and safety.